Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm, jo and I'm Jossie. This is your WCCO at the State Fair newscast. We begin today <laughs> with a developer's story from the Midway. Right now, State Fair officials are on the lookout for a giant stuffed gorilla. We're told it's black and lime green and it is at least eight feet tall. It was last spotted near the Ferris wheel. Officials don't think he's dangerous, but if you see him, call 911. Over near the pet center, fairgoers are reporting a strange howling sound. Officials were called in to investigate. It turns out it was just the dogs at the pet center trying to keep up with all the people bouncing out and usher in Sam Hunt songs at the giant sing-along. That's a look at your state fair headlines. Let's send it over to sports. Oh, hi, I'm Kenley with a look at sports. A bit of controversy is brewing after a new grand champion was named at the State Fair Ring Toss Rodeo. A 10-year-old girl from the Iron Range went five for five, beating our own Chris Schaefer by one. WCCO's investigate team is on the story. It looks like the 10-year-old was a ringer brought in from Iowa. We'll continue to follow the story, but right now let's get a look at the weather. Thank you. It is a hot one out here at the Minnesota State Fair. So hot that the ice cream cones are melting in less than two minutes. Snow cones are lasting about only three minutes. <laughs> and a warming freeze, brain freeze numbers have tripled this year as fair goes try to keep cool. I'm Ike and the Weather Center back to you. That's your news for today. I'm Jordan. I'm Kenley. And I'm Jossie. Thanks for watching WCCO4. This has been a WCCO4 news update from the Minnesota State Fair. Thanks for watching.